All right, that's the 5.8 gigahertz, 200 milliwatt transmitter. It's on my tricopter. Uh, I just wanted to show you the difference between that and the 900. Uh, uh, there's a 900, uh, 1500 watt. It's just completely overkill. Um, I don't think you need any more than a 500 uh, milliwatt unit. But I just wanted to show you the size comparison between the two. Uh, I'll just hold this up. There's on the top is the 5.8 200 milliwatt. That's the 900 below. I mean, it's huge. It's a monster. And the antenna, I uh, will just fold them so that they're basically exactly the same. Now, there's the difference in antennas. I mean, it's, it's easily twice as long. It's just, uh, it's just huge. But if you're in a, uh, an environment where you have a lot of trees, uh, you're going through a lot of trees and things like that, the 900 uh, will go through more foliage and obstacles and stuff like that, the signal, than the 5.8 uh, clouds and fog and things like that. But just size and convenience, um, I'm pretty happy with the 5.8 that I'm using. I might try another 900. Uh, but I think I'll get a, either a 200 or a, a 500 milliwatt job. Because uh, basically all you have to do is run a higher gain directional antenna on your receiver. Uh, with my 5.8, I usually run a diversity setup. And I have the stock antenna and a um, 11 dBi on my tracker. And I've gone like 5 miles, so it's, it's got good range. And for the camera, the camera that comes with this from Hobby King is $16 special. It's it's junk. It's not worth having. I think it's a 480 or something like that with a 3.6 millimeter lens. Um, it I tried using it. It's just it's unusable. So uh, I don't know the brand name of this. I can't remember now. But it's another two about two of these cameras. They have a 2.8 millimeter lens, which is a a wider angle gives you better uh, like peripheral vision kind of thing wider view much like a GoPro and it's a 520 uh, line unit anyways whatever the difference it's just a lot better I think it was a, close to fifty dollars and uh, it's a it's a nice little camera just wanted to show you a couple different options you had uh, I just seen uh, what was it? RC model reviews had a $55 option with the Hobby King $16 camera. It's $55 option, but it's basically an, an unusable system. So it's kind of a misleading number. You basically got to start at about, you know, 100 bucks or 150 bucks to get a, a camera and a transmitter and a receiver that are are gonna give you you know a mile or or more anyways that's it